Listen up. This just in. All the gossip. 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 The rumor report. Gossip. gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club. Now, Alicia Keys was performing. Uh, she was out in Vancouver, and while she was performing New York, while she was walking by, a fan grabbed Alicia Keys' face and kissed her on the cheek on, as man. she moved through the crowd. Come on, man. I know they say COVID is gone, but stop. Monkey pox. Monkey pox. Yeah, man. What you? That, 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 by the way, that's assault. That was pure D assault. That woman should have been arrested. Okay? Immediately. Security should have tackled her. Absolutely. Snatched her her right on up. I I actually thought to myself, Alicia Keys should fire her security. Because that woman not only got that close, close, she was able to grab her and bring her in for a kiss on the cheek. Man, she needs to be punished to the fullest extent of the law. Absolutely. Well, in other news, Tyrese uh, is now officially single. He was in court yesterday, and he was in divorce court with his, uh, with his estranged wife, Samantha Gibson, uh, and they wrapped up a lot. You know, at first, I think he was paying like $2,000 a month. Now he's paying $10,690 a month in child support. Of course, the judge had something to say. Uh, the judge wasn't really feeling Tyrese, it seemed like it. You have a very impressionable young human being who right now looks up to both of you. Mr. Gibson, man, I'm talking to you. This is real, okay? I'm talking about your kid. You're wandering off into space, man. I want you both to love your kid, and I want you both to tell your kid to love the other parent. Because that's how we get successful human beings who then, when they go in out into relationships, they learn that relationships, even when they don't work, don't have to be dumpster fires. Okay? And I'm not saying this one is. And I want you guys to do your jobs going forward and raise a bright, intelligent, young, loving human being. If you do one thing for this world, please do that. Yeah, what the judge said was absolutely positively right. But I know Tyrese loves his daughter. He's going to do what's right to make sure his daughter's okay. Now, Vivica Fox, she had some choice words for Nick Cannon. They were talking about the amount of kids Nick Cannon has. I just, I don't like it. I I mean, you know, y'all can be like, well, he got money to set in the third. But foundation of black families, especially a strong father figure, is needed. This isn't a good representation of it, in my opinion. He has an empire. So do you have time for all these kids? You know, children deserve a father figure, especially young boys. They need positive fa- father figures, especially African-American, because they black. I've seen so many people that in the past have dated like athletes and gotten child support. What if he gets hurt? Things happen. Yeah, I wish we get out of the, well, he has the money because it's way more than money. Well, there's a, there's, there's a lot to that, right? I mean, mm-hmm. you know, I, I can't sit here and say Nick wouldn't be a strong father figure. I mean, he's clearly a, you know, a, an insp- inspirational person. So I'm sure all of those kids will look up to him, you know, in, in, in various ways. I just think it's about the time, right? Like mm-hmm. you one man and you got 10 different kids from different women, you know, you can't give them the time that they need. Yeah, and I get what Vivica Fox is saying, but, you know, the time is everything, and having a lot of children will be difficult to be a father. I mean, I have six, and they all live in my crib, and it's difficult. Like I said this morning, I had to take my son at 3 o'clock in the morning to catch a plane to go to Arizona to play football. Last night I had a, a date with my daughter. The, you know, the other day with the baby who's 10 months old, we have a, a routine where we walk the dog together, so it spends that quality time. It's difficult, and they all live in my house. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Espe- and especially saying? when they all different ages. When they all different ages, you know, it's it's it's, it's difficult as well. But, I mean, listen, I don't, I don't, I don't, Nick is a smart guy, mm-hmm. very wise, wise man. And I'm sure he's doing uh, the best he can as a father. We not Nick ain't no deadbeat that we know. No, it's not a bad deal. Ain't the first beat, person I mean. to have ten kids. Eddie Murphy got ten kids. That's true too. And I, ain't, I, mean, I haven't heard no problems from Eddie and his children. I, well, you know what? Because I think Eddie doesn't necessarily showcase it. He doesn't take pictures. Oh, we don't, gotcha, we don't gotcha, necessarily gotcha. know. We don't hear about it as much. But yeah. it feels like every other month, Nick has a baby shower, a new baby on the it way. It does seem like every other <laughs> so month. So people and talk about it, and they talk about, you know, like they said, the family aspect of it. And it's hard to have a family aspect of it when there's so many, I would, I, I would yeah. assume. I think that's what she was attempting to say when it comes to time. You know what I mean? Kids need time. You have to micromanage your kids. And that's hard to do when there's 10 kids 
you know, all over the place. But to say that he's not a strong father figure, I, I disagree with that. Yeah, like even my, my daughter London, who's nine years old, every time I come home, she asks me, why do I have to go to work? Like, why are you at work? Why are you not here with me all day long? I got to take care of you and your five <laughs> other siblings. What are you talking about? But they don't understand that. They just want the time. That's they want right. to see daddy. They want to go to the park. They want to do all these other things. So you try to give them as much time as possible, mm-hmm. but still you want to provide and it's about make the sure they have a future. Yeah. Make sure they, you know, you create general race, g- generational wealth for them. Don't get me wrong. The money, you know, it's great. You got to have the money to take care of the kids, but there's nothing like time spent with your children. And that's very hard to do even when you got multiple kids in the house. Correct. And, you know, you work a crazy, busy schedule and have mm-hmm. the crazy, busy lives that we have. But it's, you know, even more harder when you got 10 kids all over the place. Yeah, because I ain't going to lie. This morning at 3 o'clock, I almost told Logan to take an Uber. <laughs> I ain't going to front. How old, is, how old is Logan now? Logan's 19. Logan, 19? Yes. Ain't he still in high school? Well, he'll be 19 in December, I should say. Huh? He'll be 19 in December. Shouldn't he be? I thought you graduated at like 17, 18. Well, if he has a uh, December, Man, you think you're late. slick. You're holding that boy back so he can dominate in sports. No. Nah, I know nah, what the nah. hell going on. That's why he looks so damn big. I, I thought he looked bigger than all them damn churn. <laughs> I knew Logan. How old was I, Logan? Let me see. There ain't no way Logan about to be no 19 in December, man. How? He in high school. How old is he? He'll be a senior, right? He's, no, he's a senior now. It's, well, next week when school start. Yeah, he'll be a senior. Boy, this man got to call his his this man got to call his son on the radio to find nah, out how nah, old Logan's his child is. Logan's in the air. That's how you this this is what we talking about. Babe. Hey baby, how old is Logan? <laughs> <laughs> he's he's about to be 19 though, right in December. Okay, thank you, baby. Bye bye. Man. Yeah, Logan's about to be they holding nice. Logan That's back. Sure. They holding Logan back no. so he can dominate his no, senior when, Yeah, man. No. I seen this movie before. Uh, man. No, but when his when his birthday is after a certain month, mm-hmm. he would start school later. And his birthday okay. is December twenty eighth. So he's he came in the year after instead of the year before. Same yeah. thing with Jackson. The moral of the story is it's time for you to let him off the titty, man. He, <laughs> that man can catch a hoop. That man, 21 years old in high school, man. <laughs> he, should, he, should, he should be driving his own car at this point. He? he does have his own car, but he didn't want to leave it at the airport. So I drove him this morning because no, I wanted to no, spend that time that, with him this that, that old man you got living with you can catch a hoop <laughs> to the airport. You should have you should have let him get. I'd have still been in bed at 3 o'clock, man. Nah, okay? spend the time with my son. All right, who are you giving your donkey to, man? That's your brother. <laughs> <laughs> your son? What you talking about? That's your little brother. Uh, four That's after the me. hour, we need a... Uh, <laughs> I don't even know this person's name. He's a Lion King cast member from South Africa who told Meghan Markle that her marriage into the British royal family spurred a celebration like when Mandela was free. Oh, We'll talk about it four after the hour. All right, we'll yeah. get to that next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. We'll be right back.